Dave here. I'm with Stuart Wright. Stuart, what's the number one thing you want to accomplish in your ministry? Dave, I've had the opportunity to have several uh, very meaningful mentors in my life. The first was my grandmother who taught me to love unconditionally. Second was my first employer, farmer, who taught me how to work. Third was uh, really a salesperson who um, taught me to return things in better shape from which I found them. Um, the fourth was somebody I hired who really taught me to pursue truth. God wants truth. So everything I've tried to do at Guiding Light has been around unconditional love. It's about always been about hard work, get the job done. There, there, and as you and I know, there aren't any shortcuts to, to doing quality work. The third is always leave things in better shape from once you've found them. So every one of these men that I'm dealing with, every one in the community I deal with, I try to leave in better shape. I try to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. And the fourth one is I'm always looking for truth. Where is truth? And as I said, I think God calls us to truth. And as you know, from your experience, that's not always an easy journey. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, if I leave Guiding Light with those kinds of core principles, um, when I move on or call to, to do something else, I will feel very good about uh, those accomplishments. What is the number one misconception about ministry to the homeless? Oh, that we're dealing with um, a bunch of bums, a bunch of drunks, a bunch of alcoholics, a bunch of substance abusers. Um, I see really very, very little of that. And I, I tell people what we see in Hartside is no different than what we see in our own neighborhoods, <clears throat> that Hartside does reflect, uh, I think, the neighborhoods in Grand Rapids. So um, my encouragement would, again, be for people to come get to know people, understand their stories, listen to their life journeys, uh, mirror your story against their story, and you will find many more similarities than you will otherwise. And as you know, we're more alike than we are different. Mm -hmm.